One pharmacy in Chattanooga is robbed for its medication. Tonight, police are still looking for the suspect accused in that Walmart robbery. It happened just after noon yesterday on Cummings Highway. Investigators say the suspect came into the pharmacy and jumped over the counter. The suspect told the pharmacist he had a gun and demanded oxycodone and hydrocodone pills. If you recognize the man in these pictures, you're asked to call Chattanooga police. Tonight, we are taking a closer look into the tremendous changes in pharmacy culture as the result of many robberies just like this one. News Channel Line's Micaiah Thurman joins us now with the story. Micaiah. Calvin, good evening. Local pharmacy customers are on edge. Many are afraid that they will be targeted for their powerful prescription medications. Today I met one woman who says she's been taking big boy pain killers like hydrocodone for years, but she was too afraid for her safety, so that is why she asked us not to show her face on camera. What used to be a quick trip to the drugstore is now some Chattanoogans most dreaded errand. You worry about it more than you worry about going to the bank. I do. So it's it's scary sometimes. This pharmacy customer is so concerned about her safety that she asked us to conceal her identity. She says she gets all types of painkillers on a regular basis, but each trip to the pharmacy presents a new dangerous situation. It used to be something you just didn't think about. You just did what you needed to do and you didn't think about other people's pills and they didn't think about yours, but now Gosh, I mean, you've got to be careful just buying cold medicine now. And even those filling those powerful prescriptions are taking extra precautions. Pharmacies are having to set certain guidelines to fill a prescription, you know, because before we had those uh, guidelines, you'd have people from Florida, Alabama, Kentucky, and Georgia coming to get oxycodone. But Billy Bogus tells News Channel 9 that she gets her painkillers the safest way she knows how. But a lot of people like me are getting their medications by mail. I have them, I get mine by ordering it by pharmacy and they ship it in to me. They bring them right to my door and I sign for it. For many, home delivery isn't an option, but this frequent customer has some advice for those who are prescribed painkillers. But you don't want to name off what pills you're getting in line and make sure you leave it in the bag, get in your car, lock the door before you check it out. I look around to see, was that person in line behind me and did they see what I got and, you know, that sort of thing. And just in case you were wondering, hydrocodone has been the most prescribed drug in America since 2007.